Yes, it's a long way removed from Kimber the White Lion and Precious Pup, and thank God for that. <laughs> Here to remind us of just how good animation can be when you really try is the creator of Ren and Stimpy. Please welcome John Chris Belusi. <laughs> to do a, a mystic uh, consultation here. Now, a lot of your ideas for Ren and Stimpy, John, were pretty damn weird. Like the tooth be beaver, like the, uh, the cheese translating machine, which enables you to talk Limburger, one of my favourites. Uh, are cartoons the ultimate medium if you want to express bizarre, grotesque ideas? Well, this is the first time hearing that there was anything. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It, of course, it depends what perspective you're coming from. Um, is there an answer for that? <laughs> I don't know. Yes or no would suffice at this point in time. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? You mean there is a better medium for expressing your ideas? Uh, no, cartoons are about the best medium to express. I don't know what I do anyways. I don't know if it's weird or not. You don't? I don't think it's weird. You don't think it's weird? I think it's normal. I think this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably right. What's, um, what's, what's so weird about this job? I don't know, this is TV land or something, right? Yeah, these are real people. How do you get them to move like that? Well, <laughs> thousands and thousands of cells, John. I don't want to give you the details. It's just too tedious. It's almost like real animatronics. Actually, because you've got an idiosyncratic way of uh, getting your story You keep together. Come on, coming up with these 50-syllable words. Well, I'm sorry, but we're the clever country, John. Didn't you hear that? Sorry, no, I'll, I'll put it another way. You have an original way of coming up with the stories for uh, your cartoons. Can you explain that to us? Well, we work naked. Mm -hmm. In the dark. Mm -hmm. In the dark. Uh huh. And uh, in the bathtub with our mothers. <laughs> you ever seen your mother in the bathtub? All the time, John. I've seen her. <laughs> you don't want to see it. You've seen my mother in the bathtub? That's right. Outside, just came John. From <laughs> yes, we would like to warm up our guests in a particular way, and thanks, Mum, for your help this evening. <laughs> Now, John, a lot of people, you say you don't think Ren and Stimpy are weird, but of course a lot of people complain about the grossness, the violence, the disgustness of it. Well, my mother did. Ah. <laughs> my mom likes it. You know a lot of people who complain about it. What, what sort of people complain about a country? Well, nobody's like? complained about it, at least not in, uh, in America. Well, the network. Maybe they do here. The network that was on complained about it. And in fact, they oh, well, did, yeah. Yeah, they did Network complain. executives complain yeah. about everything. Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. tell. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Let me see. I guess they didn't like the gay humor mm -hmm. too much. Um, they didn't like the boogers too much. Yeah. Uh, I like boogers a lot. And uh, I think it's kind of a shame that they have to stay in your nose. Yeah. So we, we wanted to put them on the screen where everybody could enjoy them. Yeah. <laughs> see, network executives, I'm sure you know, don't exactly... I guess their job is to keep entertainment from polluting your mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I sort of have the opposite philosophy. What, you, you actually I want, want to pollute it like, purely, <laughs> yeah. directly. Do you want the full-on industrial waste of entertainment? That's right. Yeah. Do you uh, subscribe to the often held criticism of cartoons that if a little kid watches a cartoon dog chainsaw a cat's head off and send it to the moon in a rocket, it will try and repeat that same thing in real life? I hope he does. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really. yeah. <laughs> you're, because you, you're a fan of violence in cartoons, aren't you? Actually, I don't know of any violence in cartoons. Well, true, because they don't exist. Do we they? call it slapstick. Right. Violence is what you see in the movies. You know, blood, gore, guts, and stuff like yeah. that. There's no violence in our cartoons, anyways. How do people except get for, confused? Except for Man's Best Friend. <laughs> we did put some in one cartoon, but it's totally motivated. In fact, if you want to see this cartoon, this cartoon is so scary, it was banned from America. MTV won't even run it. What was it called? It's called Man's Best Friend. Man's Best Friend. And what's, what's in it that's so scary? Uh, George Licker American, mm -hmm. who was a true manly American. He was too manly for Nickelodeon, which is run by ex-hippie ladies who are ultra-politically correct. Yep. George Licker is the opposite of that. Right. This is, this is the ultra-right-wing, so conservative that he thinks uh, Republicans are commies. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, this is a manly guy. He, he was Ren and Stimpy's master. Right. So they're at the Kaboom exhibit at the museum. Which is what you're here This for. Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to show you this band cut. You're going to see a cartoon that's...
totally going to destroy your mind, if it isn't already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit wobbly at the moment. You've bought some uh, cells, actually, of George Liquor. Yes, I certainly you, did. Give, it, give us a sneak preview of what okay. George Liquor is. Well, he was Ren and Stimpy's master. Now he's Jim. This is George Licker, American here. He doesn't like to wear clothes too much. He never wears a shirt. He looks a bit like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> and he's not meant to. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's his idiot nephew, Jimmy, that he keeps in the out back in the chicken coop. Yep. He brings him out every once in a while to teach him how to be a man. Um, we also have, this is Jimmy's girlfriend, Sody. Why is it that the ugly guys always get the good-looking girls? I've always wondered that. Always wondered. Bugs me, yeah. yeah. And, Dumb uh, and ugly. Do they have a, a full sexual relationship? In, uh, can, can, do cartoons have Well, sex? let me... ...has the same kind of feelings that you and I have. Oh, I'm sorry. He's, uh, <laughs> although he's a little backwards. Yeah, he right. shows his feeling backwards. Uh, when he sees a pretty girl, yep. what happens is... Let me see. Boner implodes. <laughs> Works like this. Jimmy sees a pretty girl. He looks up and... Foop! <laughs> That's a... And it feels really good. That was he just, just doesn't know what it means. That was, that was just a demonstration of how you work. This is how you do it, isn't it? You actually act this stuff out. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I kind of work from the loins. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of ad-libbing. Yeah, the Christian into the loins den. Now, what we have here, John, because I know you've had a, a checkered career. You don't actually work on Ren and Stimpy anymore. We won't talk about the politics. This is the oracle. You can ask this a question about your future, and it will answer it. Now, ask it a question which is important to you about your future. Um, will I get that job working in the grocery store? <laughs> Do I have to feel it or something? No, no, no. You'll feel it in a minute. It is too soon to tell. That's incredible. That is amazing, isn't it? That How is does it a do that? That's a conclusive answer. This is, this, look, it's television. It's bullshit, right? Believe it. It's Nostradamus in a ball. John, uh, Ren and Snippy, it's a joy. Uh, we've needed it for a long time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.